Uh, it is now PCB in Singapore and you know what it stands for What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel and it is great to be back finally. Uh, it is now PCB in Singapore and you know what it stands for. It is post circuit breaker. Uh, for friends who are not from Singapore, uh, we have called our lockdown as a circuit breaker. Uh, similar in nature but uh, just a different terminology where our government uh, has uh, decided to use the word circuit breaker in hope to break the transmission of the global pandemic, uh, the COVID-19 virus. Um, so right now we are in phase two, uh, meaning that we are allowed to travel for, uh, for your own personal reasons. And phase one previously, we were not allowed to travel as and when we wish to, except for essential travels. For example, if you need to get um, your groceries done, you need to get your your meals you know then only then you're allowed to go out but absolutely no social visits uh, during phase one so right now we are in phase two uh, we can go out to meet our friends finally uh, I, I think there's lots of people in Singapore that has been experiencing cabin fever after being cooped up in the home for too long uh, so we are allowed to have social gatherings of up to five persons uh, yes, and now we can go out for meals and of course we still have to observe uh, social distancing measures And uh, well, it's, it's great to be back finally because as I uh, first started my channel a couple of months ago uh, Things took a turn for a change, you know, and I had to, to uh, stop whatever I aimed out to do for my motor vlogging because uh, we entered circuit breaker, we couldn't go out as and when we wanted to so no riding except for short travels which I felt that um, I didn't want to uh, make any motor vlogging videos during that period because I had some other things going on as well but what a timing it was when I started my channel so uh, great that I could I can finally uh, start my videos again uh, this is the very first one after I think it's at least been about two months so when we entered phase two in Singapore a couple weeks back uh, there has been a huge rise in auto vehicle accidents and I must say that the accidents were really bad I mean on day-to-day -day basis you know there are bound to be accidents but it's more like a you know like a just a uh, a knock and all that but the accidents that uh, was reported it's you know involves like cars overturning uh, t-bone and just really bad accidents you know so I guess that uh, when most people didn't don't get to drive around much during circuit uh, during circuit breaker phase one uh, well you might have affected their driving abilities because uh, you know road awareness is something that I personally as a motorist believe that if you don't drive or you don't if you're not on the roads for too long you might lose some form of road awareness meaning you may not be uh, uh, alert or you know be as sharp as what you used to be when you normally drive or ride because especially for drivers uh, you're in the car you might be a little bit safer because you are you are you are in a vehicle but for riders uh, you are much more at risk because <laughs> your flesh is outside of the vehicle so uh, it's, it's it's quite a scary time especially for riders because there has been a number of uh, bike accidents where unfortunately the riders have uh, passed on so it's really always always really sad to hear of such cases now that brings me to my next topic uh, regarding being a motorist now be it whether in Singapore Southeast Asia Europe Americas you know it's, uh, it's it's something that I think it could be 
uh, discussed anywhere in the world and here it is does riding a motorcycle make you a better driver okay a food for thought now I know there's a number of you who drive and you ride so you know exactly what I mean but uh, I'm sure there's a number of you who ride but do not drive or vice versa you drive but you do not ride so personally I've been uh, on the roads for what 15 years and I've actually been driving for the most part of my life I've been driving for about 12 years and I started picking up motorcycles in the last three years uh, it's a bit of a funny situation where most people will actually transit from riding a motorbike to driving a car but for me uh, and for those who live in Singapore you know that uh, owning a car in Singapore is just ridiculous it's too expensive so uh, uh, very early on in my working life I decided to, to spend on a car and back then loans and interest rate were not that high um, so I decided to get a car but I eventually decided that but you know I could do without a car because I did my calculations um, if I were to take a, a taxi or a grab or uber back then uh, I would still save some money all right the running cost of a car is something that is often uh, underestimated because it is largely the hidden cost that might run you uh, into a deficit in terms of your expenditure and your savings because look uh, what are the upfront costs for owning a car is pretty much same as a bike uh, you have your monthly installment which is definitely much higher than a motorcycle uh, your insurance which is higher your road tax which is generally higher um, and the fuel so generally for most uh, cars the fuel consumption is much higher than a motorcycle uh, but of course if you have like a high performance motorbike the consumption might be the same or even lesser than a modern car these days so I've been through that phase and when something goes wrong like you know the aircon compressor the engine engine mounting now cars have different problems you have four tires to change each each time so mm, I've transited to motorcycles uh, three years ago when I was driving uh, before I picked up riding I still drive by the way but uh, now now I've uh, just uh, focused riding right now so when I was driving honestly I did not like motorcyclists very much because I was always jealous of them when especially during peak hours when they could just lane split and get through all the traffic jam and uh, get to the destination much faster than we than, than drivers and uh, they, they can actually avoid the so-called traffic jams so I really really detested uh, uh, riders back then uh, never have I imagined that I would be riding someday uh, but uh, get, so look where I am right now uh, so back when I was driving uh, it, it, it's really easy to forget that there are vehicles around you sometimes because you are in the comfort of uh, four doors you have you are encased in a metal uh, structure around you with four wheels so you are very stable you're very comfortable your air condition rain or shine you know you are uh, in a in a very safe uh, space so when I first picked up riding, uh, my personal experience is uh, wow, it's, it's it's a brand new one because you know I used to ride a bicycle, but it's far different from riding a motorbike because of the sheer speed that you can actually attain on these two wheels. Um, it's a far different experience from driving because as a rider, you get to experience all the elements of weather. Uh, which is very different from a, a driver because you know when, when I was driving I used to love uh, uh, to um, wind out the windows but I do realize that that uh, it's, it's still a different experience because what you're getting the wind is uh, from the side window that comes in straight to your car but as a rider look look what I'm seeing okay I'm just right <laughs> right against uh, the wind and uh, right under the sun on my bare skin so it's a totally different experience now as a rider of course my uh, my senses has to be heightened especially on the roads because I have to be on a constant lookout for existing dangers around me right be it on the way uh, on the roads where there might be oil, some oil slicks uh, on the wet weather I have to avoid the white painted lines uh, for those who ride you should know that it can get very slippery if you ride on those uh, white uh, 
lane markers, especially during wet weather. And because we are on two wheels, it's uh, far more dangerous and scary, especially when you lose traction. Right? For a car, you have four wheels, you are most likely still going to be planted. You might spin out, but you, you, you do not fall like a motorcyclist. Okay? So, um, I was riding for a good year or so, and then I, be, I, I began to uh, get more confident uh, riding around in Singapore. And when I got back into a car again after some time, um, I do realize that I, I have more empathy towards riders this time. You know, when I was a driver, it sounds bad right now, but I, you know, I, I try not to let bikers cut, uh, get past me sometimes, especially during peak hours, because I always fear that they might knock off my side mirrors. So I, I hate it when that happens because uh, I, I think it's partly jealousy as well. So it's really funny. Uh, now that I'm a rider, now uh, of course the bike that I'm on right now is really hard to do lane splitting. Uh, those with a smaller bike, uh, when I was on my previous uh, Honda CBR 1000, uh, even though it was a class 2 bike, but it was uh, slim enough for me to actually get past, uh, get in between cars, uh, even if it's on the move. It's something that is convenient for bikers, but at the same time, I realized that there are inherent dangers uh, by doing that because I always fear that one day, what if a car, you know, just suddenly veers off course, you know, you just need to move a little bit, just maybe about five, six inches to your, to the left or the right, and then kaboom, you know, I'll, I'll be hit by the car. So, uh, yeah, sometimes you do get really close to the side mirrors, but uh, well, of course, we never aim to hit the side mirrors off. But uh, as back to again to what I was saying, um, when I drove, started driving again after riding for some time, uh, I did realize that I would tend to look out for bikers more. Uh, in fact, I would try to give them uh, some space if I do see them from a distance, uh, uh, slowly creeping up in my rearview mirror. Sometimes it's easy to forget, as I mentioned, that you are in the comfort of four doors. Okay, you might forget that there are other motorists around you. So. Uh, even if with other cars, sometimes you can make it honked because some, uh, I mean, there are some people who just can't keep in their lane or even drive straight uh, on the road. So uh, these guys are the ones to look out for. So for me personally, as a rider, when I drive, I have become of a more uh, so-called aware of riders around me especially because you know that you know if you knock into them honestly speaking as a driver you're just going to get some cosmetic damage but you are going to cause a, a possibly a life-threatening injury to the rider that you you hit um, not only that because I, I I've gone through a, a, a self-skid uh, situation last year uh, it's 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 not fun man because I fractured my foot and I fractured my wrist so I was out for a good one and a half months I had surgery on my foot uh, no surgery on my wrist because the bones were just too small so i know what it's like and i know there are riders who are who have gone through much far worse injuries than me and uh you know fortunately i'm still back to riding but i also know and you may also know other riders who uh actually never get back to riding anymore it's quite sad uh, but I count myself very very fortunate when uh, I, I uh, there were no cars around me when I skidded. Uh, it was just a slow bend and you know my, 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 my scooter just, just lost traction. It was a sandy road, cold morning, um, but really it was just unexpected and it was quite scary when it happened. So uh, yeah, so that's my thoughts about does riding make you a better driver? To sum up, I think it does make me a better driver because I'm a bit more empathetic and a bit more aware of the dangers of being a rider as well. So I try not to be aggressive towards them when I drive. Uh, but, you know, just as how you may find that, hey, you know, a lot of riders are just like, the, you know, just, just uh, inconsiderate, they are just reckless, you know. I've been on both sides before already. So right now I'm, a ri I'm riding a bike uh, pretty much on a daily basis. For cars, occasionally I'll still drive. But um, just as there are bad hats for riders, there are bad hats for drivers as well. So I think being considerate to one another is just really important uh, on the roads because we all just 
want a pleasant driving or riding experience on the roads we do not want to get into confrontations you know get into arguments and all that because look most of us are having a stressful day the last thing we want is to have another uh, stressful moment on the roads and um, it's 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 you know just make a world a better place man all right so I would like to hear your thoughts does riding make you a better driver or for those who do not drive okay i'd like to hear your thoughts and for those who do not write i'd like to hear your thoughts as well so this question uh is open to everyone okay uh, leave your comments in the comments box below i'd like to very much hear your thoughts and so this is a start of one of those discussion topics that i find uh would that would uh, apply to many riders all right so i'd like to hear and see what you have to say and if you have any other topics that you think that uh, that is worth uh, covering uh, just just let me know I'll see if I can include that in my next uh, photo vlog session all right so that's it uh, it's just a lovely afternoon sun right up this oh my god look at how bright the sun is okay I wish you guys a lovely week ahead ride safe drive safe stay safe all right uh, put your mask on wash your hands regularly and that's it from me, signing off here, take care, and see you the next time. Bye.